So here's what I want to do. I want to have a conversation with some folks in class. And first, the first thing I'd like to do is get maybe four people up here um, who are identify as that really top group, the group that whose your parents make a lot of money, you're in that top tier, you have, you don't, you could call them tomorrow for a, you're not paying for college, they're paying for college, um, or maybe you're on full scholarship, but your parents are in that top tier, and you um, could easily get 800 bucks or maybe, who knows, $8,000 if you need it. I, I have no idea. But the point is, so I need, I need four, I want four people up here. And what I'd like to have is uh, somebody who's white, somebody who's black, somebody who's Hispanic or Latina, and someone who's Asian. And it could be South Asian as an Asian Indian or East Asian. By the way, hang on, hang on. Um, I want to be really clear with you all, right? I'm not, you're not down here so that I can, we can somehow make fun of you or just like, it's like, oh, these are the rich kids. Let's like take them down a little bit. And by the way, don't be getting all snarky on Twitter either because that's not what this is about. I really authentically, what, what I want to know, what I want you to do, even though I, I did tease you about your name, but <laughs> what I really, what I want you to do is to the best of your abilities, Okay, the four of you, I want you to paint a picture of kind of what your life is like, the life of your friends, and you know, just what it is. Okay, don't, you don't have to say anything that if your parents are watching the screen, they're like, oh, why'd you tell them that? But you know, but I, I just want to get a feel for it. So we, I want to just put it out there. Okay, your family's got a lot of money. What, what's that mean? Like, t let's talk about it a little bit. What's your house like? I grew up in a pretty small house, and then we moved to a bigger one. It was like, one side was like, kind of like, not poor, but like the less wealthier side. And then we moved over to the wealthier side. It's a bigger house. We have two floors, a basement, four cars, two four garages. Cars? Yeah. Four car garage or four cars? Four cars, two garages. Two garages? Okay, that's cool. And you, and is it your parents and like who, who, who do you live with? Um, my dad lives in China now. He's working there. My mom lives at home, and so does my brother. And they pay for your school? Yes. Okay, so Valentina, how about you? Um, my parents, like, we moved a lot, like, around, but then we settled back, because I'm from Bolivia, so we just live there, and, like, I don't know, I feel like I live a normal life. I don't feel like I have any, like, luxuries or anything, so, mm -hmm. yeah. But what did it, so, wait, so they're back in Bolivia now? Yeah. What's your house like there? I mean, what's um, it like? I don't know, we, like, recently moved into, like, this new house, like, and my, like my dad like wanted like a new house, so like we built a new house. And I don't know. I feel like it's normal. It has like a pool and it's nice, but it's not like huge. Right? It's not like it's a nice. Bill Gates like a mansion. No, uh -huh. kind of thing. yeah, it's like normal. I think. But by Bolivian standards. Okay, yeah, they're a little <laughs> bit bigger, but it's not. It's not like that. No, I got you. I got. I, mean, no, yeah. I, I know that you're right. So, but it, it's gate. I assume it's gated and. Yeah, it's in, it's in like a condom. Yeah. Uh huh. Gated community. Uh huh. All right, bro. How about you? Um, I'm from Westchester, PA. Uh, I grew up with just my mom, dad, and my sister. She's younger. My house is like five bedrooms. It's not like super lavish, but it's definitely nice. It's like five bedrooms, and like three bathrooms, I guess. Do you have a car? I do, yeah. We what have, kind of car? We have three cars. But like my dad drives an Audi and my mom drives an Acura, but I drive my mom's old Toyota. You have your old Toyota? Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. What year? 2000. Six. So they pay for school. Yeah. And if so, if you call, if you call home, how much money do you think? Like, if you needed a computer or something, right? Yeah. Where, what at what point would they say, like, okay, hang on a second? If I was like, I need a computer, they'd buy it. Not a question. Yeah. Uh huh. I feel like my life isn't super like like she said. It's not wild, but my parents have a lot of money. Uh huh. For sure. So when you go. When did you... <laughs> hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come back to that. Go ahead, bro. Um, so I live full-time in Ocean City, New Jersey. Um, I guess I live in the upper like, class of the area. I'm more towards, like, everyone looks like at me, I guess, in a way. It's just how high school was. Uh -huh. But... So I live with my mom and my dad. They pay for everything. I don't have to worry about that. And my sister. Um, five cars. Uh, you have five cars in your house? Yeah, five Your mom, cars. your dad, and your sister, and you? My dad has two. 
I have one, my sister and my mom. When did you get your car? I got mine when I turned 16, 17, something like that. What kind is it? I have a Range Rover. Range Rover? <laughs> All right. Dude, he got a Range Rover. He let your parents I, know. I have one, my sister has one, and my mom has one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I own four of them, all right, pal? <laughs> no, just kidding. No, go ahead. So you were 16. Were, were you, okay, here's the question, right? When you turned 16 and got a Range Rover, did you expect to get a, did, not to expect it, like you, I owe, you owe me a Range Rover, but did you, were you just like, yeah, I'm going to get a car and it'll be a nice car? Um, my parents mentioned it because my mom got hers like years before when they first like started coming out and they mentioned like getting like some kind of like, he they, they originally thought of like heavier cars they, and Range Rovers are like yeah. one of the heaviest cars on the road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like once they said like safe, heavy, and then they can afford it, they pulled out the Range Rover. Mm -hmm. So when did you, do you have a credit card? Yes. Do, you have, you, do all of you have your own credit card? I don't have credit. I have both. You have, wait, go ahead. So, yeah, I have, I have both. You have debit a credit and card credit. and a debit card? But I only use the debit one, but that doesn't let me use the credit card. Do you? Okay. Same, I have both. You have both? I just have a debit. Yeah, my parents don't trust me. Yeah? I have both. Do you, do you like on your debit cards, or do you, how often do you think about how much money you have left in your account versus you just spend it, and like, where, where are you with that? Um, well, I have like the notifications on my phone, and that's the only reason why I check it. Like when it says like, your account balance is like under 100 or whatever, that's like the only time like, I actually check it. Uh-huh. So Who puts money in your account? My dad. How about you? Um, I check because I have a monthly allowance and I try not to go over that. Uh -huh. And my mom puts that money in every month. Uh huh. So she puts it in and you assume she puts it, you don't have to remind her or anything? No, I do remind her. Yeah, okay. How about you? Do you check? Yeah, I check, but like also because like I have like a monthly allowance, so I have to like... Do you have to remind your parents to put it in? Yeah, I have to ask them. Yeah, so that's good. All right, that's cool. How about how about you? Do you keep track of how much is in your account? Yes, but not. At, yeah, I do. <laughs> but what? Not in like. I was gonna say that I don't check it like to see how much I have left. You so check I, it. I check it just like. Just for the fun. See how much I have. Oh, see how much you I have. have. <laughs> All right, I got you. Okay. <laughs> So what is there, what's something about having a lot of money that is actually a little bit, like, that's burdensome? The amount of, like, the amount of crap people talk, I guess, is like the worst part, personally, I think. Once mm -hmm. people find out, like, your parents, like, have money. Like, the worst is, like, when I have, like, friends that are, like, in similar wealth, and, like, their parents, like, inherit the money from, like, their family businesses. But then, like, personally, like, agreeing with you guys, like, my dad created the business, started it all. Like, it's all from him, so it wasn't inherited. So then people, like, look at you, like, it's all, like, passed down. Right. You kind of just want to, like, defend yourself and be like, well, my dad worked his butt off to, like, get in this position, so. And then everybody else looks at you and goes, yeah, right, everybody says that kind of thing, right? So, so it's being judged. Like, I mean, I guess like Carter said, like, I don't like to be, I don't like to talk about it. I'm, it's not like something like to talk about. Like it's, so I don't like people judging me about it. Mm -hmm. Like your friends. Have you lost any friends over it or anything? No. Yeah. Just like when people think I don't do anything. I don't know how to do anything. Right. Or they're calling me like a rich bitch. <laughs> yeah. Got you. When, when I notice sociologically, it's kind, it's, a, it's kind of an interesting thing. People whose families have a lot of money generally find girlfriends and boyfriends whether they're gay or straight, uh, families that have a lot of money. And people whose families have no money over again and again will find girlfriends and boyfriends whose families don't have a lot of money. And I'm just curious about for you all, right? How much do you, how much do you see, maybe not for you, but for other kids in your, who you're connected to, how much are they filtering that? Like how much of it, of it is conscious and how much of it is subconscious that you tend, to, you're going to tend to be attracted to other people whose families also have a lot of money? I feel like that's more like a result of circumstance than like preference. Just like circumstance? people are from the same area. Yeah. More than anything. Yep. Do you, does anyone want to add anything to that? Do you see? Like it's not just chance. It's not chance that you would be, let's say, are you straight? 
Okay, that you would find a boyfriend here at Penn State and the boyfriend would happen to be from a family that has a lot of money. It's not chance. You might say, no, but I met this guy in my class and I really like him. He's got a great personality. I'm like, okay, maybe that's true for you, but what I see year after year, hundreds upon thousands of couplings that happen, it's like this and then middle class and then poor people. There are some some examples where it's not the case, but it always is. And I wonder for you all, how conscious are you about all your classmates out here? Because some of them are really, you would end up with someone who's wealthy. Well, like in general, like I guess like friends, girlfriends or whatever, like that, I don't really think like I based it off their like economic like standard, I guess. I guess like they, they live in the same area as me, like in my area in particular, like they are like majority of people are like the like the upper wealthier class of like the area. Yeah. But I know like personally like I've been friends with like people who are like in lower and medium like classes. So I don't really like base it off of that. It just like just so happens because of the area that I live in. Yeah. Majority of my friends are. Yeah. And I the- look and I don't think it's there's nothing. Con- I don't think it's conscious. Like I don't think like any of you would say. No, that person doesn't have money. I, no, I can't date that. I don't like you because you don't have money. It's not like that. It's almost just like, it's this, it's just like an energy thing. You know, you just kind of like pulled toward certain people and I get, it's like anything. It's just life, right? Like, like you're, you cheer, right? So if you wouldn't date someone who hates Penn State and thinks it's all stupid and the Penn State stuff, it's like, this is all, you just wouldn't. You wouldn't be attracted to them. It just wouldn't be part of your world. I definitely agree with that now that I think about it. Um, I guess personally, because in the areas that I live in, like, I'm, like, a regional district, so I have, like, the upper town, yeah. like, the medium class, and, like, the lower class town, yeah. and I know, like, my parents have, like, no problem with me talking to anyone or, like, being friends with anyone, but I know, like, my friends or even myself, sometimes it's, like, in a way, like, when we bring friends home, my parents can, like, automatically tell, like, what town they're from based yeah, on, like, right. you know what I mean? Like, based how- on any number of things, yep. Yeah. Yeah, dude, I can, I can see that. Anything else anyone want to add? Hey, th- Thanks. Thanks for, thanks for coming up, really, honestly.